this. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize at source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with just a short broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, though they must be fast, or they risk being trapped and foiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I am so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. Cleansing fire always burns, little Mandus, but it purifies and it makes anew. Did it hurt to carve out the fevered flesh? Did it hurt to cut free the gangrenous foot? Ask instead this. Can we save them? When did I say that? That is not me. That is not me! There's a spoon of medicine, I says, and it's a silver spoon. What you did get born holding, ever so painful for mummy dear, but grasped so hard. It was in a little streaming red fist. Later you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden and get all the way to Mexico. And then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. The spoon was the same you gave your twins. Then you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole, where will you dig next, I asked. You and your little silver spoon, made from the silver spine of your children, and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed? Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what am I become?
believes that the pressure system is indeed the Achilles heel of this facility, something I clearly did not realize in my first clumsy attempt at sabotage. If I reroute the steam, I can wreck havoc. Wreak havoc. Wager if I disable it, the damage caused by the rushing steam pressure could be catastrophic. Certainly enough to force a temporary stalling of this entire engine. That should cause the steam pressure to drop. Mandis, you clever old goat. I can feel this horror, this grief, this betrayal boil into fury. I will not stand. I will not be undertrodden. If this machine is my heirloom, I am the overman.
no one misses the poor. Round up some orphans in the world will thank you for it. Disappear a whore and a gentleman applauds you. Call a beggar and a lady walks safely again. I hate them. I hate them more than any of the others. This privilege, this pretension, these so-called leaders, these pillars of society, these rich and fanciful. They wear their filth on the inside, but they are no less dirty. I have plans for them all. We will feed them, and then we will feed from them. and look at myself in the mirror. This in hand and my reflection grins at me. His mouth is full of the sulfur 